This is the Pacific Ring of Fire, an enormous string of volcanoes, oceanic trenches, and earthquakes, and other seismic activity, all resulting from the movement of and around the Pacific tectonic plate. Ultimately, the Ring of Fire represents heat, a lot of heat from within the Earth, and this heat is known as geothermal energy, and it can be used to generate electricity. So it's not surprising that the majority of geothermal power development is in the nations of this area. What might be surprising, though, is that Canada is one of the few nations along the ring with no commercial-scale geothermal power production. Now, as an engineer from the energy industry, when I see the huge potential of this resource, I can't help but wonder, in Canada, why not geothermal? Well, one major reason has been that historically we've had an abundance of fossil fuel and hydropower resources. We also lack the regulations to properly guide geothermal power development, although progress is being made in that regard. But what I want to talk to you about today is why it's more important now than ever that Canada starts investing in our geothermal power potential. And I'd like to do that by highlighting five aspects of what it has to offer. First, clean energy. Geothermal power plants can provide virtually emissions-free renewable sources of electricity. Second, cost. Geothermal has one of the lowest levelized costs of energy among all energy sources. Third, jobs. Geothermal power projects create good jobs, jobs which often require similar skill sets to those already found within the oil and gas industry. Fourth, base load power potential. And this is key. It means that geothermal doesn't suffer from the intermittency issues that other renewables, such as wind and solar, do. It has the ability to meet 24-hour base load power requirements. And fifth, heat. A useful byproduct of geothermal power production is heat, and it can be captured and used for community purposes, such as greenhouses or spa facilities, and much more. It's a community-led combined heat and power solution. So my research at the University of, Inca University of Calgary is in evaluating the potential of using geothermal for power generation in First Nations communities. I believe the most immediate benefits of geothermal could be seen in indigenous, remote, and northern Canadian communities. The government of Canada has recently committed to fostering economic growth and creating jobs within these communities. They've also committed to climate action, to diversifying our energy economy, and to increasing the role of renewable energies. It's vital that we no longer overlook our geothermal power potential. And I encourage you to learn more about geothermal power, to get involved through industry associations such as Kangea, or to attend your local geothermal meetup group. With the growing threat of climate change, it's important that we in Canada continue to ask, why not geothermal? Thank you.